Okay, here we have our first species in Miller's Woods that we're going to look at. This is in the family Sapindaceae, and the Latin name is Acer nigrum, and that's black maple. Black maple is closely related to the sugar maple, which we'll also see in this site. One very distinctive character is that it has these drooping leaves, and you're not going to see those drooping leaves in the sugar maple. And look, it's, a, it's a large tree. Let's go a little bit closer and look at the leaves. So this is a family that has opposite leaves, so you can see how the leaves come off uh, on the twig. And these leaves have a velvet along the petiole and velvet on the underside of the leaf, which is distinctive, distinguishing it from sugar maple. It also has these leafy appendages on either side of the stipules, on either side of the petioles, and these are called stipules. See, they're like little miniature leaves. And they're pretty big in this uh, species, and uh, so you want to take a look at that. We're not going to see the bud very well right now, but you will need to learn this for the winter condition. And we're going to show you photographs of what the buds and the fruits look like. Uh, we can look at the bark right now. It looks like it's not very distinctive. It looks like other maples, but when it matures, it will become darker and corrugated with long ridges. And like the other the other maples, it's wind pollinated and it'll start dispersing seeds in the fall.